Hey guys, I'm Wild Chick Rita, and welcome back to my unboxing episode part two. In my last episode, I unboxed some stuff from PokemonCenter.com, so if you've not seen that, make sure to check it out. I'll stick the link in the description below. Um, for this episode specifically, I did an unbox, or I'm going to be unboxing some stuff from ToyWiz.com. I will also stick that link in the description. Um, but they are good for buying all sorts of action figures, trading cards, and all sorts of anything toy related, really. Um, so what I did was I bought some Pokemon cards off that website for you, um, guys to watch. And if I have not shared this with you guys yet, I have made it a personal goal to collect every single Pokemon card out there. Um, now I know I probably should have started from a young age, but throughout all my various moves and growing up and stuff, I lost almost entirely all of those cards. So I've started from scratch in the last two months, um, so I wanted to show you guys what sets I'm working on collecting and which cards I bought today, so let's get to the unboxing. Alright guys, let's get into the unboxing. Um, so, handy nanny box cutter. Again, be careful. Um, and we're going to open it up. It's very hard because I'm trying to hold my camera with one hand and open it with the other. So, I'm going to get... It's going to be an awkward angle. We're going to do it. Okay, there's one side. There's two sides, and we're going right down the middle. I'm assuming this is where the middle is, and if it's not, then oh well. I guess it was close enough. Yeah, really bad opening job. Okay, so once I get the box open, it should be so much better. So much moving, I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to stay in one place now. So, we got all sorts of bubble packaging, like normal. Um, it does also awesome because most of these cards were very, very cheap. I don't think I spent more than $5 on any of these. Okay, so this is awesome. The first thing we're starting off with is the uh, Rainbow Island Field of Flowers Southern Islands. Um, it's, it's, it's like three cards. So there's a Japanese Letty Ball, there's a Jigglypuff, and a Butterfree. I'm not going to take them out of the package because this is awesome. I'm going to leave it as it is, but it is Japanese. It's beautiful, and I found this for like five dollars. I think it was on sale. So, you know, if you guys want something like this, go check it out. Maybe they'll still have some. Um, also, let's see, that's my order form, and it looks like they put all the cards in this little packagey thingy. So I'm going to unbox them separately and show you guys once I get them. So we are going to start with this awesome Glasscore card. I also bought this one on sale. Um, I believe. It couldn't have been more than a dollar, um, but it is a just a normal guy score card. It's it is foil. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's shining a little bit, and it is a promo card. If it'll zoom in on that, probably won't. Uh, but it is a promo card, so that's why I bought that. It was just kind of a special card, um, and I wasn't actually looking for this one, but um, I figured it was nice to have for my collection. So there is the awesome guy score card. My next card that I got was a reverse foil Grumpig from the X and Y series. Um, it is a rare card, and I was having troubles pulling it, so I went ahead and bought it. Um, and, you know, the, the art on this one is okay. Um, not crazy about it, but I don't dislike it either. The reverse foil design is awesome. I love those psychic eyes. And it knows Tricky Steps and Psybeam on the card. And overall, it's just a, it's just a, kind of a normal rare card, but I did need it for my X and Y set. So there is the Grumpig. Next, I ordered a write-on. Let's get this a little bit more straight. There we go. I got this write-on card. Um, it is also another rare card from the X and Y set that I was just having troubles pulling, so I went ahead and bought it. The art, I actually kind of like on this card. Um, not too bad. It is Horn Drill and Mad Mountain. One of my favorite things about Pokemon cards is the moves they come up with those, because they're so different from the game. So there is write-on. The next card we're getting is a Bulbasaur, and I'm sure my good friend Rainbow Chew is going to love this, but I bought the base set Bulbasaur card. Um, I don't have a lot of base set cards. I think I only have like five, and they're only what I've collected in the last two months. But I wanted this Bulbasaur, so it only knows Leech Seed, um, but it is a legitimate base set card. It's in great condition, and I'm very happy with it. Actually, great job for Toy Biz, because these are all in perfect condition. I was actually kind of worried about buying cards online. So there's Bulbasaur. I also bought Quillfish, 
which I know is kind of a silly card, but it is a rare card from the X and, or the Flashfire series, I'm sorry. And it has counterattack quills as its ability, poison sting as its attack, and it was just another card that I was missing that I was like, you know what? Random, why not? Let's buy it. So there's Quillfish. Another card that I bought was my all-time favorite Pokemon, Luxray. Look at that sexy, sexy Pokemon. And it is reverse foil, so I love them for sending me it in reverse foil. Um, and it is from the Flashfire set. It is a rare card, and I didn't want to wait to pull it because I love Luxray so much. So I just went ahead and bought it. So there is Luxray. Lopunny, another great Pokemon that I really like. Um, I also love that they sent me sent it to me in reverse foil. It is another rare card from the X and Y set. Um, its ability is Big Jump, and it knows Sit Down Bounce. And also, we have just received new news from Nintendo and Game Freak that Lopunny will now be getting a Mega Evolution, so hopefully we'll get another pretty card like this one soon. But that is the Lopunny I ordered. Next, we have a Victini, just a foil Victini. It is from the Legendary Treasure set, which um, Flashfire, Furious Fists, X and Y, and Legendary Treasures are the sets that I'm working on right now collecting, but this Victini is one that I needed. I have the EX card, but I did not have the normal one, so I figured why not buy this one? It wasn't too expensive either, so there's this adorable little Victini. Plus, Victini is also one of my favorite legendaries. And then I also got this Foil Lucario card. It is also a rare card from the Legendary Treasure set. It knows Reflexive Retaliation and Aura Sphere. Um, well, that's its ability, that's its move. But, awesome card. Um, not too crazy about the art, but I do like that it's foil, so I really needed that card. And then the last card that I got is a Full Art Reshiram, and this is a Radiant Collection card from Legendary Treasure Set. I have about 24 to 25 of these cards, and this was a like super rare card to find, so I wanted to go ahead and buy it. It was a little over a dollar. Not too bad for a card, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I love the art on it. And yeah, so I'll lay them all out here for you guys, not in any pretty order, but um, I'm going to have to organize these into my books later, but got some awesome cards from toywiz.com. I'm super excited about it. So thank you again, Toywiz, for sending me those and getting them out to me very, very quickly. I um, don't know why my camera's not focusing. There we go. Um, but yeah, I got some awesome cards. I'm very happy to add them to my collection. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching this awesome unboxing episode. Um, if you like what you see and you would like to watch more Pokemon content, then subscribe and make sure to like this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.